Touch you. The great physician will heal you. Dodges, I'm going to share this long standing testimony you should Is that you? How are you doing? Are you alright? No problems? You are not sick? Or you're sounding? A photocopy no matter how neat it may be or no matter how neat it may look cannot be like the original
Aduh. Abiola, are you still crying? Hey, you better take it easy. And remember, your children are looking up to you because you are the only one they have now. No, they have a father. A father? You know, some fathers are better thought of as dead. Stop saying that, mommy. Don't say that again. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, oh. But how can you describe a father that has abandoned his own family? Eh? For the past four years, he has never asked of you, neither of the children. Eh? And he has continued to live his, uh, his own life there. Is he not dead? If you have had listened to my advice then, this will not have happened to you. But now, my daughter, it is not too late. We can still do something. Mommy, mommy, please, please. Ah, all your suggestions, I never thought of it. I'm a child of God. And my husband was a child of God. He has for the boss, and I'm not ready for it. This is just a face. It will soon be over, mommy. It will soon be over. Okay, oh. I'm sorry, oh. No problem. But the choice is yours. You can still do something. You are still young, my daughter. You can start your life afresh. Daniel was your husband. Don't deceive yourself. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, we want to get married, sir. This is good. And have we gotten a date? 22nd of November, sir. It's also my day. Yes, it's good. Um, uh, the problem is that my wife is not going to be around. She's traveling to Nigeria for six weeks. She has a program. No problem, sir. We are going to miss her. Yes, uh, it's no problem. I'm going to announce it in the church. I will make every necessary arrangement. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm happy for you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for, for that. And we have to take our leave, sir. Okay. Yeah. God bless you. Oh, thank you. Okay, sir. God bless you. Hello, Auntie. <laughs> I have some great news for you. Just guess. Guess now. Uh, hi. Yes. We are just coming from the pastor's place now and uh, to tell him that we would like to get married on the 23rd of, uh, of November. Of course. Why not? Oh. Yes. I'm so, so happy. I'm so grateful, Auntie. At last, eh? You know, I know I couldn't have got this far this time around uh, without your support. I really appreciate you. Hmm? Yes, we have to start preparation now. Of course. Yeah. We have to start preparation. And so, how is your business? Okay, I'm even planning to send some money to you tomorrow. You need to hand up to your goods. Yes. So I'm so, 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 so grateful. Eh? Thank you so much, Auntie. Okay, I have to go now because I have to go. At least we have to celebrate now. Okay, bye, Auntie. to tell you for some time now but I just wanted to be sure are you okay hope there is no problem yes I mean no it's about Uncle Daniel 
Daniel! Did I hear you saying uh, Daniel? You mean Baba Victoria? What happened to him? Um, he's getting married in the Netherlands. <sighs> Demi Tayo, <sighs> are you sure of what you are saying? I've been trying to get the information before saying it. I got the full details through a Facebook friend today. Here is a printout of the wedding invitation. Is this a joke or something? For goodness sake, how can a married man be preparing to get married to another woman? And that even in the church of God. Mm. What is the church of God turning into? Mm. Yes, I think. I think this, the name of this church is familiar. His Glory Church of God, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Oh, darling, please get me my laptop and the internet modem. Okay. Let you take this out and do it. Mommy Grace, please take it, it's okay. The Lord is going to sort things out for us, please. Pastor, I can't believe my eyes. When I saw his picture and that of the lady on the Facebook. <laughs> no. Is that so? Thank you. Oh, oh Grace, take it easy, eh? It's well. <sighs> But I thought you, I thought you said you've not been getting him on the Facebook in the last two years. Yes. He cut me off from accessing his Facebook accounts. But my sister, Tayo, she's the lady's uh, friend on the Facebook. The picture was posted on her Facebook and that was how she printed it out. Ah, Pastor, that is why I'm here. To see you and mommy, I don't know what to do. Please, Pastor. Oh. It's unbelievable. Oh. Don't worry, the Lord will teach us what to do, okay? Amen. It is well. It is well. It is I think I've gotten something here. Okay. The address of the church is here and the phone number. Hey, yes. This line is ringing. Nobody's picking it. I think it's a landline. <laughs> is there no other line then? There is another line here and uh, an email address. Okay. Let me check this other line. It is well, eh? Oh, Grace. It is well. Thank you. It's 
ringing. Please, am I on to the pastor in charge of His Glory Church of God, Amsterdam, Netherlands? Ah, of course, it is. Is that you, Uncle? Uh, good afternoon, sir. This is Davis on the line. Davis. Let me place it. Yeah, hello, Davis. Good evening, sir. Uh, pastor Davis, the husband of Miriam. She called me while she arrived in Nigeria two weeks ago. Hmm. And I have to start it. I want to thank you very much for the warm hospitality. Oh, don't mention. Don't mention. Miriam is my niece. And so she's welcome in our home anytime, any day. That is even an issue on ground, and that is why I'm trying to get across to the pastor in charge of his glory. Oh. <laughs> that, I'm afraid that is a big problem here. It's a serious one. I have in my hand now an invitation letter inviting people to the wedding between Daniel Omojola and uh, Bridget Johnson in about two weeks' time. Davis, I'm sorry that wedding cannot hold. Yes, there is a problem because Daniel is married here in Nigeria. He's married with children in Nigeria and his wife is even here with me right now. Look, Brad Daniel is married. He got married in my church. I was one of the officiating ministers at their wedding. And I don't remember separating them before he left Nigeria. His company sent him on a course to Netherlands some years back. And uh, he left his wife and his children here. His wife was about six months pregnant before he left Nigeria, and since then he has abandoned them, not looking back. Hello? Is that Brother Daniel? Right. Uh, please come over to my house right now. Okay? There is something important, very, very important that I'm going to discuss. Uh, please come. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting. Thank you. The heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? <laughs> that Bradane could do all this that he has done in the last four years is really unthinkable. <sighs> There is no problem. I'm afraid there is. What? Her husband is about to be married to another woman, and that too in your church in Netherlands. How can that be possible? <laughs> Miriam, I'm dead serious here. Take a look at this. You sure know the two of them? Yes. Now, this same brother Daniel that you know is the husband of this, my sister here. I was one of the officiating ministers at their wedding. I even joined them together as husband and wife before brother Daniel left Nigeria. Is that true? <sighs> With two kids. They are married. <sighs> Am I dreaming? Brother Daniel did not tell us that he has a family back here in Nigeria. And he's such a dedicated and committed worker in our church. Miriam. Yes, sir. I have told you my story now. Yes. And I've shown you all the evidences on ground. I want to believe that you and your husband 
serve the same true living God yes. and you honor him. Yes, sir. This same God has a standard for us. That is the standard of one man and one woman as husband and wife. Yes, sir. I want you to stand by this truth and preach the truth and uphold it. I understand you, sir. I was planning to scan the certificates and all other documents to forward it to your husband before you came in. And of course, I'm still going to do that. Now, my sister here has not lost hope on her husband. Though the man has refused to get in contact with her for over two years now. The woman was six months pregnant with the second child when the husband traveled. And since then, he has abandoned them here. The, the woman and her children. The woman has not lost hope. And the church too has not lost hope. So we are all waiting that Brother Daniel will come back to the presence of God. So, that wedding cannot hold. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. In fact, I was very blessed by your ministration last Saturday. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank uh, you, sir. Are you into music ministry while you're in Nigeria? Yeah, actually, I'm into music ministry and I'm also involved in the youth ministry back home in Nigeria. Interesting. Thank you, sir. And I believe God is definitely going to use you in our church as well. Amen. Amen, sir. And uh, if I may ask, how long have you been in the Netherlands? Uh, actually, I've been here for six months and I also have uh, one year, six month contract, sir. And uh, what about your family? Are they here with you? Uh, I don't have a family. I'm alone here, sir. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. God is definitely going to do it. Yes, thank you, you are sir. blessed. Thank you, sir. And we hope to see you again. I never expected this from you. Look, from all education, you have pretended to be a good brother. And now, you are married in Nigeria, your beloved wife, and you came to Europe to pick another wife, and you expect the Church of God to join you together? Put a down here. What is it that you have done? Pastor, I'm not interested in my relationship with Biola. I'm no longer interested in the marriage. I asked her for a divorce, she did not respond, so I have to move on with my life. Did I hear divorce? Yes. Put her down here, sit down. Brother Daniel, listen to me very well. The Church of God must maintain its standard. The Church of God cannot support this new marriage with Sister Bridget. But why? But this is a church we have put in our best, myself and Sister Bridget. The Church of God does not support this double marriage. And for this reason, we are not a part of what you are doing right now. I'm no longer interested in my relationship with Biola. Brother Daniel, the Bible says the war muggers, the adulterers, the fornicators, they have their place in hell. Do you want to go to hell? We have put in a lot of effort in this marriage. At least we have supported the church. So the church is now turned for the church to support us. Well, for your own information, the wedding has been announced in the church. But believe me, it is cancelled. Hello, good evening, sir. Uh, Dicky Mantis. Yes, sir.
Can we meet in the church office tomorrow? I will be there tomorrow. There is something very, very important we're going to discuss. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. See you then. Bye. Bye. Lord Jesus, please give my husband the wisdom to handle this issue there. Ah, how I wish I were with him now. Mommy, it's up. Santi. I'm so confused about the religion. Have you spoken with your husband? I just spoke with him so a few minutes ago. And I said uh, having a video call so that we can discuss more extensively. Brother Daniel, I still can't believe that he, he can do this. He was such a dedicated and committed worker in the church. He was also dedicated when he was in Nigeria. He, he ministered to the youth, to the singles too. And he led a, an, an exemplary life before he got married. I just don't know what went wrong. Daniel loved the Lord. He served the Lord faithfully. Even after our wedding, he was so committed to things of God. What baffled me was the sudden change when he got to Europe. For the past five months, I was the one that is always calling Danny. He left me here with his daughter, an unborn child. Mm. Our agreement was that Danny should go to Europe for one year and six months. He has never visited Nigeria since he left four years ago. Really? Well, brother Danny never told me or oh, my husband. That he has a family here in Nigeria. But I just had the feeling that maybe he has someone waiting for him here in Nigeria. But your husband said he's one of your dedicated and trusted workers in the church. Yes, that's true. Did you ever find out anything about him? But I feel before you put people in position of authority in the church, you should know certain details about them. I agree that we are guilty in that aspect. But when we saw the zeal of Brad Daniel, we put him in position. I would not bother to ask so much question. Zeal? Zeal is not enough. You only use zeal. Did you ever pray about him? Were you convinced of God to put him in that position? And that is a mistake that the church is making these days. Nobody to tarry before God and to know whoever should occupy a particular position in the church. If I may ask, who is the innocent sister that she wants to get married to? Oh, sister Bridget, she's a child of God, another dedicated worker in the church. She has been in Europe for the past 15 years. Well, Brother Ned just came to inform my husband of their relationship. Information? Yes. He only informed you? No marriage committee? Nobody counseled with them? They did not tell you their conviction? Oh, Kai, this is wrong. There should be a committee in place that we counsel with them and listen to their story. Auntie, churches in Europe are not like that of Nigeria. The congregation of about maybe 20 people. And where will we get the committee? And to preside over who. And if you continue to ask so too much questions, they feel you are prognosing to their fears and they may stop coming. Mm -hmm. Their setup is wrong. <laughs> At first, I kept all this pains to myself. I never wanted anybody to propose into our affair and give me wrong counseling. But after a year, I told my pastor, Pastor Adidiji, about this issue. 
He both prayed together and he did his best to contact him, but all to no avail. Then I knew within myself that something has gone wrong. All my friends kept on asking me about my husband, but I did not answer them anything. But just of recent, my husband called me and he told me what really shocked me. Hello? Good morning. Please, who is on the line? What do you mean by who is on the line? Can't you recognize my voice? Who is that, please? Hello? Who is it? I think it's Daniel. Daniel? Hmm. What did he say? In fact, I don't understand what he's saying. Eh, call him back. At least he has remembered you and your children today. Call him back. Is he not calling back? Hello? Hello? I want a divorce. My lawyer is coming to you next week. You have to sign the papers. I have to go on with my life. You also, you have to go on with your life. My lawyer will say to you and the children. Bye. Huh? We rose up to the challenges. Based on the information Stabiola gave us, we prayed, we fasted, and we believed God. My sister, do you believe that that was the last we heard about him? When he, when he insisted that he wanted a divorce for the wife, the lawyer never showed up again for Sister Biola to sign the divorce papers. Though Biola was that broken, but she believed in the God of heaven that her husband will come back home. I mean to the presence of God, where Daniel has wandered away. Amen. Amen. I believe the Lord will restore him. Amen. And not only him, but also the church in Europe and all over the world. Amen. Amen. Because I believe we, I mean me and my husband, we are at fault as well. If at least we have uh, prayed, I put the relationship before the Lord. He wouldn't have come to this. And to come to think of it, it was after the elders questioned them over this double marriage issue. And the sister kept on insisting that she must get married to Brad Daniel because they have been together for two years. Been together as how? She claimed they've been in a relationship for two years shortly after Sister Bridget joined the church. And that they'll be spending their weekends and weekdays in each other's apartments. It then means they'll be sleeping together. Yes. Then what is the church stand over the decision? You know, we just got to know all of these details. I believe God will help us. Amen. And we must rise up to this challenge. And God will help us to take the right stand. I feel that the church should not be silent over this issue. We should be the voice of Christ. And we should stand up in righteousness. And most especially, we need to stand in God for our husbands. So that there be no compromise. God will need you. Hello, Anjaji. How are you, my dear? I've been trying to reach you on the other line. And when I was not getting through, that was why I used this other one. I'm so sorry. Eh? I left my other phone at home. Yes, I came to uh, buy something in the neighborhood. Okay. I hope all is well. How about Daniel? Auntie, I have some great news for you. You know, I overheard Daniel talking to his lawyer in Nigeria. He's asking for divorce from his wife. You mean you overheard him on the, on the phone? Making an arrangement with the lawyer for a divorce? Yes, exactly. In fact, I'm so happy that I took your advice that I should pretend that if I didn't know that he's married. So he must be a player himself. And he's just camouflaging with the church. I can imagine. 
See, there is no problem about that one. Enough of all this use and done. You just get me his picture. And I know I will have to take some steps here in Nigeria. You have no problem, my dear. It's yours already. Auntie, thank you. I'll talk to you some other time. Huh? Okay, bye bye. Mommy. All right, yeah. Mommy. Mommy. You are Bridget. Hey, please. Baba, I have his picture now. Mm. So, this is the picture, Baba. And I learned he has requested for divorce mm. for his wife in Nigeria. This one must not go, Baba. What is the name of that your sister? Huh. She's Bridget. Mm. She's about 35 years old, Baba. Help me. Eh? All these Nigerian men, they will just come. You sound up her. Because she has Euro national passports. Eh? Because they want to stay in the Igbo land. Baba, help me. This one must not go. Please. This one? Daniel, what do you call his name? It's Daniel. <laughs> this one will not use and dump her. Ah, Baba, thank you. Thank you, Baba. What I, I will, appreciate it. What I will do is that I will tie them together. Ah, Baba, thank you very much. That is the one I want. But I must warn you. Ah. Your sister must not leave this man. Ah. Or this man will suffer a major attack. And your sister, we have no man to marry her again in life. Oh, Baba, do it. I will warn her. She will not leave him. Yes, Bridget. How far with the preparation for the wedding? What? Ah, uh, that's not possible. That's not possible. You just go ahead with the preparation. If he doesn't want it in his church, we'll do it in another church. You don't worry. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. The Lord has only one standard set for all of us as children in all the nations of the world. The standard is spelled out in that portion of the scripture. So my dear pastor, don't compromise God's standard. The Bible says a man shall live his mother and his father, and he shall be joined to his wife only, not wives, pastor, not wives. So please take note. It is the word of God, and we shall all be judged by this word. Sister Biola is legally married to brother Daniel, and that is the only wedding that heaven recognizes. Whatever is going on over there is not right. And I can perceive that Brad Daniel has strayed away from God. That is why he could take that sinful step and be happy with it. It is now our duty to see that Brother Daniel is restored back to God. He must come back home to the presence of God. The Bible has also given us guidelines on which we can bring backsliders back to God, as it is stated in Galatians chapter 6, verse 1, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye he who are spiritual should restore such a one and the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. <sighs> Pastor, prayerfully and wisely take a step to reach out to Brother Daniel. Help us, Lord. Let us be able to stand for you in holiness, in righteousness, and in truth. You are the one that will empower us, grant us the ability to stand our ground. We know you can do it, Lord. Please help us.
Hello? Hello, sir. Yes? What? But, sir, 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 what? Any problem? That is not possible. Just call him back and tell him that it is not possible. No but. We are going ahead. See you soon. Hey, Baba, Baba, Baba. Hey, this light must not go down. Hey, this light must not go down. Baba, she's the one calling. She's mm. the one calling. Pick the call. This, hey, this light must not go down, Baba. Pick it. Pick I should pick it. it. Mm -hmm. I should. This light must not go down. Pick it. Hello. Yes, Bridget. What is it? It is impossible. It's not possible. No, no, Baba. Maybe you will speak with her. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What is it? Hmm. Nikini. Kujajebe. This is a tattoo for you. Don't know Ah, mm, 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 mm. In no, the papa that I can lay. Cosy boy, the coo, coty a lay coo. Oh, more, 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 Hello, good morning, brother Francis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was about going to the shop when I got the message from your wife. Eh? My what? Yes, your wife. My wife? My oh. sister Bridget. She told me that the program and the venue have changed and then we have to go to the reception. Okay. And that's where the whole event will be taking place now. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she took that initiative. Okay. Uh, that is good. Uh, oh, just a minute. My phone is ringing. Hello? Yeah, hello dear. Okay. Uh yes. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is good. We'll take our leave now. Yeah, we'll meet you there. Alright. Bye. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is good. Uh she, she took that initiative. It's very good. So what will happen is that you have to go to the church. There are some people in the church waiting. You you convey them to the venue and then myself and Brother Francis will will go to the venue together. Okay, okay, so you can go now. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. You sold your best friend for the thing so the world. Good morning, Brother Jay. Living what is it you standing so outside? Good morning, Brother Mili. I don't understand. Every doors are locked up and there is nobody inside. Ah, this is where the wedding is supposed to be? Yes, it is, but I don't know. I What's don't going know. on? I don't know. Or have they changed the venue? It's not going. No response. No Try response. it again. No. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, Good morning brother. brother. But what is happening? I can see the church is locked up and there is no sign of any wedding coming up at all. The venue has changed. I'm just coming from Brother Daniel's house and he has to come and put the note here. But why? Why the sudden change? I don't know. I've been trying to call the pastor line, but this is engaged. I even tried to call Brother Emmanuel's number, but he told me that the pastor has him to lock the door. Do you know where the new venue is? Yeah, I know. Let's go there now before it's too late. Okay, okay let's go. Let's go. Hey, yeah, she. Hey, what for you? Is that she? Hey, are you okay? Yes, is she? There's no problem. My lord. Ah, and you know I work back. If you have been working, you have worked for somebody this time around. And you know I'm so done for you, my boy. You will enjoy yourself. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's it. Oh, cocky little. That's it. My lord. That's it. What do you want? That's it.
Ah, uh, but uh, Brother Alfred. I can't seem to understand. This is not fair. Oh. This is not fair at all. Uh, the pastor is not here. Uh, uh, in vain, the choir group in which Sister Bridges belongs to. But what is the meaning of all this? I don't know. And I've not even been able to read the pastor on phone since. <sighs> but what is the meaning of all this? Ah, uh, uh, But what about his wife? I mean, the pastor's wife. Have you forgotten she traveled to Nigeria two weeks ago for a short call? And she will not be able to be here till next month. Oh, yes, that is true, that is true, that is true. But, uh, Brother Alfred, this scenario is too strange to me. Even uh, that pastor that joined them, I have never seen him before in the church. I've never met him anywhere. But what is the meaning of all this? I don't understand. Brother Daniel and Sister Bridget marriage. What is it? Ah. Maybe the pastor will explain to us on Sunday. Ah, maybe, maybe. 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 Okay, uh, Brother Fred, I should go now. I'm going to, to the car park. Okay, uh, I will so, take the bus from uh, here. See you on Sunday, my yeah. brother. God bless Have you. Have a nice time. Uh, you Regard too. To your family. Uh, okay. Hello, Brother Alfred. Good day, Dicky Martins. How are you and family? Oh, you are doing great, sir. Sir, I didn't see you at Brother Daniels and uh, Sister Bridget's wedding today. Hope everything is okay. Wedding? You mean they went ahead with that wedding? Yeah, even the venue was changed and even Pastor Davis was not there and I've been trying to reach him since morning. Hope all is well. Well, this is something that we cannot talk on phone. Can you come over to my house so that we can discuss about it, please? Yeah, I'm even at the bus stop now. And I will reach your house in the next 20 minutes. Okay, see you soon. Remove your jacket. Thank you, sir. Wow, that's right. Thank you to clean your house. Oh, please. Beautiful house. Oh, yes. Yeah. Please come upstairs to the study room. Okay. Sir. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Brother Alfred, I'm so happy to have you here again. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be in your Oh, country. yes, please, come it's in. It's a long time. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful place. <laughs> yes, please, come in. <laughs> uh, please, come in. This is my study. Wow. Please have your seat. Thank you. This is where I have my prayers as well. Wow. Anointed room. Oh eh? my Everything brother. Everything is anointed. Oh eh? my brother. Anointed. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is not around, so I try to prepare something for wow. you. Wow. <laughs> Another eligible bachelor oh, again. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> ah, this place is comfortable. Ah, Dickie Martin. Oh, yes. I was surprised I couldn't see the pastor and some of the uh, members in the church in the wedding today. And even the change of venue, I was too surprised. Hmm. Dickie, what is happening? Brother Alfred, Brother Daniel has a wife in Nigeria. What? Yes. Unbelievable. As at the time he left, his wife was six months pregnant. And he has two kids. Two kids? He has one seven years old, one five years old. Why? Why? Brother Daniel, why? And that's why the pastor stood his ground not to allow them to get married. My God. Can you just imagine? It was the thing, Brother Daniel, that encouraged me. Mm. When I was just confused in knowing the will of God in marriage. Mm. Eh? 
that's true. I can't just believe it, brother Daniel, a devoted worker. Mm. Eh? Well, we'll be praying for them. And uh, it's just unfortunate that we are experiencing the compromising state of the church today. And that's why the pastor was so bent on not going ahead with the wedding. He stood his ground. But you know, this is really commendable for the pastor to stand his ground. Right. I pray the Lord will continue to uphold our Amen. pastor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So where did they hold the wedding? Just one building. It's not, I mean, it's not like a reception hall somehow. And even I I did not I've not never met the pastor before. Really? Yeah. Well, some people are not called. They just call themselves. And it's just unfortunate that, you know, Brother Daniel and Bridget will fall prey mm -hmm. to such kind of deception. These are the workers you are looking up to. Yeah. And you can see the way the Sister Bridget and Brother Daniel were busy dancing, jumping as if they won lottery. Well, oh my God. we'll just keep praying for them. And I'm mm -hmm. going to tell the pastor, I'm going to bring that to the pastor's knowledge. I think it would be better because the members are really confused. Mm. They are busy asking various questions. Okay. It would be better for the pastor to make this known to everyone. Yes, I think he will be in the best position to do that. At least there, there, there is nothing they can do now. Hmm? Nobody can stop me. I'm unstoppable. Anybody that tries to stop me, I will just deal with such a person. You have to calm down. Let's take things easy. At least we are we are, we are together. Calm hey, down. How can I calm down, eh? After what Pastor David did, did today, I had always thought he's a reasonable man. Eh? That after we have explained to him, but you know, he, he still maintained his ground. Eh? I also thought I, I thought they would change their mind also. But they never did. But Everything went well. We have always been together before. Yeah, of course. We have always been together and we are and we're good to be together. But, but it was not like I wanted it to be. Eh? Oh, the, my money just waste waste everything. The limousine, the food, the people. C can't you see was just just only a handful of people. I have to quickly arrange for that man to just come and to come just come and do do the to come and do something. Yes. I know you wanted it to be big and nice and look good. But at least we 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 we, you, we did something, and that is that remains that that stand. But at least you have told them that uh, uh, you have nothing to do with Africa. Africa should stay there. Let me enjoy m myself in Europe. Eh? I, I don't know why they can 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 do that. Eh? After serving the church for six years, is this how to 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 pay someone? Eh? Yes. But definitely, eh? I'm going to deal with them. I'm not going to that church anymore. Just calm down. Let us enjoy this mood. Uh, just calm down, my dear. Calm down. Hello, darling. Good morning. How are you coping? I'm fine, thank you. I hope you are fitting this morning. <laughs> I tried to get something to eat. Uh, I got bread here and egg. I want to fry egg. But I'm not trying to help myself because I'm the special bachelor for now. Uh, my dear. I was able to stop the wedding from taking place in our church. But to my greatest surprise, they still went ahead somewhere else to organize a wedding. What? You mean they still went ahead? Yes. They went as far as to organizing another pastor from nowhere else and they did it at the reception. But why did Brad Daniel do this? But I thought it was so bad. Oh, we didn't know all this before now. They are, I know that we love pastoral care. But you know our people. You know, they, they, this is Europe. They feel we are prognosing to their fears if you ask too much. Um, what, what can we do now? What can we do? This one, my sister. Thank you, Mom. Brother Daniel joined that church. Six months after he arrived in the Netherlands. And he was very fervent in the Lord. He told my husband that he had no family. Hmm. My husband cancelled the wedding from taking place in our church. 
But I was told they still went ahead to do it somewhere else. Hmm. I can't understand this sudden change in my husband. When he got to Europe, we both fasted and prayed for this temporary transfer. And when he was transferred, we were thinking that it's just an answer to prayer. But when my husband got to Netherlands, he refused to call me. In fact, he even lose all contacts. And he refused to even come home. Mm. My sister. Many brethren compromise their faith. Immediately they get to Europe. Mm. Because it's just like uh, no man's land. No check and balance. They just live their life to the desires of the flesh. And more so, when such desires have not been addressed before. Hmm. Check and balance indeed. I guess that is the problem with my husband. He was so overwhelmed with his new state of freedom. Especially when I and the children we were not with him. Hmm. But if I may ask, why didn't you travel with him when he was going? He was working with a multinational company. They could have arranged it for you. It is not safe for husbands and wives to live apart. Mm. It often leads to temptation. I was pregnant at that time. I never knew it would turn out like this. I so much have faith in my husband. But ma, all I need now is that you should pray for me. Yes. I need my husband back. Exactly. That is it. And we are going to pray. Yes. Let us pray. So, my brother. <laughs> so, this is it. This is what brother Daniel was doing. He already has a wife in Nigeria. Not only a wife. He had two children back home. Ah, that brother. Why did he do such a thing? A born again Christian. Though he's child of God, but you know, Europe syndrome. What is, what do you mean by uh, Europe syndrome? Europe syndrome, license to sin. Some people when they come over from Africa, they come to Europe, license to sin, freedom to sin, everything that have caused him to go as free from the presence of the Lord. Mm, you are right, my brother. But I thank God, the pastor explained everything today uh, because I was so confused about mm -hmm. this, this, uh, this, this affair of uh, brother Daniel. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. But I thank God for our pastor standing upon the word of God, mm -hmm. uncompromising stand for Christ. Yes, I thank God too. Yes, you are right. And you know, uh, brother Alfred, I yes. think that this is the way God will use to show secret sins. Amen. And it will instill fear in the heart of the members. Yes, yes, you are true. Make them to fear God. That no, God will find any any weird thing is found. God will definitely expose them. Yes, now I now understand why the pastor refused to join them. Thank God. I thank understand God. now. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, thank God. Thank God. That is that is very good. We thank Lord. We should go on uh, praying for our church. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Just let us keep on praying for him also. Amen. Let's keep on Amen. Praying Amen. That Amen. God will continue to uphold our pastor. Amen. Amen. But uh, what way are you taking? I uh, should I can drop you. No, I still want to visit another brother. Okay, okay, that is good. That is good. Paul. God bless you. Amen. And remain calm in the hand of the Lord. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. brother. Bye. May God bless you. Amen. I don't just understand. I can't just understand. Bridget told me she wanted to marry me. And I've ensured every possible avenue. I'm about to tie the two of them together. She now told me she doesn't want to marry again. It's not possible. It's not possible. Because Baba told me that I should tell her that if she should get married, she can't go out. It's an irreversible thing. And her number is not just going. Eh? Her number is not going. However, let me just leave a voice to call for her. Eh, eh. Hello? 
Bridget, you need to get in touch with me as soon as possible. You need to get in touch with me as soon as possible. Is that okay? Bye. Ade Tutu, I thought you had gone out. No, mommy, I'm still around. Okay. You were trying to drop a voice message for Bridget, right? Yes. But mommy, for how long would you continue with this? What is the meaning of all this? Why are you so bent on destroying the man's life? Why can't Bridget just wait for her time? I only did what I did to secure her deceit. The place was vacant. So I only did all I did to make sure that she occupies it. Mommy. I don't subscribe to such security. God doesn't like it. Oh. Having a relationship with a married man is not right. Was there a who? The man was not, he, he has, the, the first marriage was not working, so he said Bridget should marry him. Is that what you call marriage? Oh. Why can't you just leave this innocent man alone? Why now? Innocent. What do you mean by innocent? What is your definition of innocent? No sense, my foot. Oh, so the man knew he was married. Why did he now come to ask for Bridget's hand in marriage? Having a relationship with a married man is not right. Agreeing to be the man's second wife is so not right, mommy. And listen, Bridget is too hasty and it's not good. God said he's going to do everything and make everything beautiful at his own time. And marriage is not the only reason for one's existence. It's just one of the promises of God for his children. Is that not the same Bible that says that? Every day those who have themselves. Ah! Mommy! Stop me squatting the Bible! I just want to. So, I yes. said, I am. This is your food pack. Thank you so much, ma. That means I won't have to go hungry on the field today. Thank God the research is gradually coming to an end. I can't wait to get back to the Netherlands, especially with the situation of things in the church now. But what is the stand of the church when your husband told them about what Brother Daniel did? You mean uh, the reason why the wedding was cancelled from taking place in our church? Yes. I was told that uh, there was a mixed feelings with, uh, among the people. Some believe they shouldn't have cancelled it, while some argue over it. But the most important thing is that the church took the right step and were able to take their stand on holiness and righteousness, which was, has been a major issue in the church up till now. Thank God for that. But I still can't believe why a person like Brother Daniel can descend suddenly, you know, getting married after he has his family here in Nigeria. Hmm. My prayer is that uh, God himself will show up and defend Brother Daniel's wife. I mean his real wife, Sister Biola. Amen, amen. <sighs> I'm not so, you know, Biola has a very strong heart. She hopes and believes that one day, Brother Daniel will come back to, and the marriage will be restored. Mm -hmm. You know, Biola has an enlarged heart. She, has an, she forgives the man and she keeps on praying that Daniel will come back. Even the whole church, we are trusting God for the restoration of that marriage. And the Lord will restore the Amen. marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, Amen. oh Father. Restore Daniel in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray every power working against Daniel's life. We decree and declare, we recover, shut fire, cash fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, bring Daniel back home in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Oh, Father, you are the only one who can do this. Oh, Baba, do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You said the heart of the king is in your hand. Yes. Lord, the heart of oh God Daniel is in your hand. That is saving, restoring, saving, restoring, saving, restoring, saving, restoring. This is the appointed time. Baba, you must not stray away. Malekete liba shatter. Daddy, bring him back home in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sister, yes. I really admire your courage and dedication to praying for your husband's restoration. You hold no grudge against him. I am so convinced that Daniel is the perfect will of God for my life. And I've come to realize it. That even though a marriage is the perfect will of God, challenges and storms of life will definitely blow. Really? Yes. Just like the prodigal son strayed away from God, I know Daniel has strayed away from God. And the Lord who restored the prodigal son will definitely restore my husband Daniel in the name of Jesus. Oh, now I understand why you always pray that God should restore him back to his place in Christ Jesus. If a man has left his original post with the Lord, definitely anything can happen. That is exactly the case of my husband Daniel now. At first, I was very, very bitter against Daniel because he refused to call me and the children since he left for Europe. But after the seven days fasting and prayer, the Lord gave me a word. He told me that I should stand still, that I will see the salvation of the Lord. In fact, since then, I am no more bitter against Daniel. I believe that the Lord will restore him very, very soon. I mean, very soon. Yes. That's okay, dear. All right. Okay. I'll call you back later, dear. <sighs> so, what is the situation of things over there? The doctor seems not to see anything medically wrong with Bradani. And uh, they are discharging him today. <sighs> My husband and two other brethren from the church are going to pick him up. And uh, he will stay in a dicky's home for now. Ah. God, there is nobody in his house. Nobody in his house? Yes. Sister Bridget has since has gone dead. Ah. Claiming that she was being threatened in a dream. Any woman that is running after another person's husband is endangering her life mm. and even walking contrary to the will of God. But what I know is that, according to the Bible, you know, a woman has more rights over her husband and she has an authority. Any prayer pray against such strange woman, definitely she cannot withstand it. Yeah. You are right, my dear. You're very much right. You see, a lot of our sisters, in their desperation to get married quick, get themselves entangled with married men, or should I say married men entangle them, forgetting that God has a plan and purpose for every person and that none will lose his mate. <sighs> it is my prayer that the Lord God of heavens will open the eyes of our sisters Amen. and help them to wait for their time. Amen. Well, let us just continue to pray. Yes. Let us pray for our brother Daniel. Mm. That the Lord will restore him back to himself Amen. and to his family. Amen. Let us just pray for him. Lord our God, we pray for our brother Daniel, that Lord, this minute, wherever he is, in that name of Jesus, you are God. You will bring back our brother. We look up on Jesus. Ha, 
Ostaan, niin. Osto! Osto! I'm not fine. What happened? She's my mom. Your mom? Yes. She's been behaving funny since morning. What are we going to do now? Hmm. Daniel has asked my sister to pack out of his house. And you know you told me that she must not leave Daniel's house. Otherwise she will not get married again in her life. So that what are we going to do? You see, I have made some consultations. Uh -huh. And I've come to realize it is the first wife that is standing away. Ah. You see this thing? Uh -huh. I'm going to untie it now. Uh -huh. And I will tie it back. Uh -huh. I will first untie this thing. Eh? Then I will retire it again. Ah, Baba, Baba, don't do it, don't do it. You said you must not release it. This is what you used to tie the two of them together. Ah, ah. What, what, have, what, what have I done? I was telling you. Ah, ah. We are not supposed to untie this thing. I was telling you. Ah, you should have warned me now. Baba, I was telling you. Ah. Ah. Hey, what ah. are we going to do now? Oh, me to tell you what we learn. Ah, hey, hey. Eh, Oda. Oh, you're talking about the bee? The bee What is that? Which one? Who? The, the first wife. Biola, Baba. Biola is her name. Yes, Biola. Oda. I said, I'm going to tell you, la 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 going to tell you, I'm 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 going to tell Bobo to ba se loni aroro mo ni to pe kini bo ti jawe aro bobo tu ba ti se o di asegbe di ola o e kini de re o di ola o o di ekeji di ola o ilo Ah, mommy, I warned you several times about running out idols and seeking out from where there's none. Sister, I did too, too. This is not the time to apportion blames, but a time to seek the face of the Lord and ask for his mercy over your mother. Eh? Mama, what you did is wrong. Please help me, oh. And God fronts at seeking after mediums and witch doctors. Oh. Eh? Oh. For God's sake, why try to snatch another woman's husband? Oh. Eh? And the Bible says that none shall lack meat. God has provided a man for every woman and a woman for every man. Eh, this pain is too much, oh. Uh, Where is the lady that she did all this for? She's in the Netherlands. In fact, we've been trying to call her for some days now, and it hasn't been going through. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I suggested that we pray for Daniel here. That's right. For prayers. Because this is where I do my own prayers. Okay. okay. And you know he's the only one living at home. Yeah. And Sister Bridget is not at home again. She that's, ran away. That's right. Okay. Even though the doctor said they don't know what is wrong with him, but we don't know what is wrong with him. Uh, Brother Daniel, uh, can I get you some water? Uh, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Uh, please, get something to drink. Okay, that's okay. Uh, right now, we are going to pray for Brother Daniel. Okay. This is an attack. Okay. Uh, if Brother Daniel did not break the edge, the serpent will not bite. <laughs> So this is an attack, mm -hmm. and we are going to ask for God's mercy. Mm -hmm. Let the mercy of God speak. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let the mercy of God speak. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy of God speak. Lord, have mercy. Lord, speak your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, speak your mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, speak your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. L
Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak. Lord, restore him back. Father, in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon him. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's attempt to sit well. Let's help him. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Just like yesterday, when I opened the door of Europe to you, when you and your wife had prayed and sought my faith to get this opportunity, you left the church of your country with a strenuous life. But on getting to Europe, and seeing the freedom that the land had to offer, you sat in the midst of sinner and began to play with sin. You neglected the Bible and spent hours surfing the internet. That was your first spirit fall. You started engaging in the secret sins and indulging your flesh. You began to pray for every good thing you see. And you spend all what you end on your lucrative job to just satisfy yourself. You forgot your pregnant wife and daughter back home almost as soon as you got here. You felt they are burden and as such you should just forget them. There was no one to check as everyone mind their business here. And you began to stray away from the presence of God. You no longer feel that excited to pray or read the word of God because you don't joke with it back home. It was hard for you to get up early, to set out for work, and your personal devotion began to suffer a setback until it finally stopped. First you joined a little warm church, there was no soul lifting, Heaven testing mercy. In fact, not for one did your pastor then made an altar call. Neither for salvation of soul, nor for repentance, nor shared about eternity. The affluence of Europe got the better part of you. And in order to stay here permanently, you began to listen to wrong advice and you joined your new church just to get an EU national to marry, in order to get your permanent state. You compromise. In your present job, did the pastor on recognizing your gift of singing give you a position in this church? That was how you met Bridget, a camouflage Christian who had been in this church for years without being converted. She was desperate to get married, and you were looking for a companion. You moved in together and began to live as a couple. You walked into the trap of the devil, and you cut off all contact with your wife and family. You went ahead to declare Bridget as your wife. You went as far as ask your wife, Diana, for a divorce. But she never gave up on you praying for you. Night and day that you will come back home into my presence. Sin opened the door to the demonic attack and all forms of evil. And that is why you came under an attack from the strange woman you had moved in with. My hands are open to receive you some. If only you will repent and turn back to me. Come now. Let us say to the matter. Though your sins are as silent, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Daniel, if you confess your sin, I am faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Come back to me, son. Turn away from your sins. 
how we feel you. I met you who, and after you might have repented, a season of refreshing will come to you from the presence of the Lord. Lord. I'm begging you, don't cut the phone, don't cut the phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all that I've done, I'm sorry. Diana, I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry. The Lord has dealt with me here. Oh. I'm a changed person now. I'm on my way to the airport now. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ready to stay with you and the children. But I'm sorry. Please, please. I know I have, I have broke my marriage vow. I have defied our marriage bed. I will not do that again. I will stay with you now. I promise to stay with you. I will not leave you here again. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, please, please. I bought my ticket. I have bought my ticket. My ticket is with me. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving for the airport now. Jesus! <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Lord has 
has done is that is my husband. Call me back home. God, you are great. Ayola, mommy, what happened? It is my husband, Daniel. He said he's coming back home. He has repented and he's coming back home tomorrow, mommy. You mean Baba Victoria? Yes, that is my husband. And he said that he's coming back home. He said he has repented. He's ah. returning like a prodigal son. Ah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah. Jesus, you are good. Ah. Ah. You have wiped ah. away my tears. Oh. Are you sure that the voice you had Mommy was very, very, very sure? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Daniel. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Victoria. Oh, thank you. Ah.